Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the next, next session. So in this session, I'm going to give you uh, one assignment, which is based on the topics we have covered so far, where uh, we have covered how you can set up uh, the environment for Selenium uh, on Eclipse, how you can include the Selenium jar files. And then uh, we are going to talk about how you can uh, open a browser, a type of browser, maybe Chrome browser or Edge browser, then how can you navigate to a particular URL or you can get the title of that uh, page and then um, how can you uh, uh, and how you can basically close the window. So it's based on that. It's a very simple assignment. Okay, I would like you to do. So uh, you can also get this assignment on QA Tech Hub website. I'm going to give some assignments from this website and some assignments from uh, which, which will be specific in this uh, course. So uh, the first assignment here is that what you have to do is you can set up an environment on Eclipse, then include the jar file, Selenium jar file. After that, I want to open, I want you to open a browser of your choice, maybe Firefox or maybe Chrome or maybe Edge browser, whichever best works for you. Uh, then uh, op maximize the browser window. Then you can have to navigate to qadechhub.com. After that, you uh, have to write a small method where if the title of QA Tech Hub website comes out to be this QA automation tools, trains, and tutorials, and hyphen QA Tech Hub, then mark it as pass. Mark it means just print pass. And if it does not match, then uh, print fail. Okay. So if you are familiar with test and JUnit, then you can use the assert statements also. But I believe if you are doing this course, this uh, if you have taken this course from Udemy or from any other source, then uh, you uh, then just print the status pass and fail. After that, what I want you to do is I want you to navigate to the Facebook page, then navigate back to the QA Tech Hub website, print the URL of the current page, and then some methods like navigate forward, reload the page, and close the browser. So this is the assignment. Pause this video, complete the assignment, and then uh, proceed with the solution. So I, I'm covering the solution now. So uh, to, to cover this assignment, I have created one new package with name assignment so that you can easily get it uh, through GitHub. Now here I have created one class and let's say I call it as uh, assignment, first assignment. Okay, so uh, let's start with steps. So the first step will be, I'll be defining the Chrome driver, object of a class called Chrome driver. So let's say Chrome driver driver. Okay, and let's see the first method will be for me is invoke browser. Right, now, uh, what we are going to do is I have to initialize this driver instance. So I'll say driver equal to new Chrome driver. And I also need uh, the path of the Chrome driver exe. So uh, that I can get from one of my old code. Okay. Uh, but we have already covered this part that uh, how you can set the uh, property of this variable, which is webdriver.chrome.driver. And this variable uh, maps to or points to the Chrome driver exe path. And this Chrome driver exe is used by Chrome driver to communicate with your Chrome browser to initiate it, to initialize it. Okay. Now, after this, the first step in the, or the first point in the assignment was open Firefox browser here. It is mentioned Firefox, but you can open any browser. Then maximize the browser window. So how can you maximize a window? Driver dot manage dot 
windows and what I want to do with it, I want to maximize it, right? So this is the step. Then it says navigate to qadecha.com, right? So I'll say here driver dot, there is a method called get and it is asking for the URL. So here I'll define the URL. So URL will be this. Where I can say HTTPS colon double slash QA tech hub dot com. Right. So this next step is also done. Now, after this, it says write a method to print pass if the title page matches with this. Right. So uh, what I'll do is here, I'll create one string variable where I'll say, um, okay, let, let me create a separate method for this. So I'll say here public void verify page title. Let's say this is the name of the method. And here I'll create one string variable. Sorry, um, I'll create one string variable here. String. Uh, after that, the name of uh, the variable I'll keep is um, actual, uh, sorry, expected title because this is something which I'm expecting, right? So expected title are given this, then I'll create one more variable with name actual title. This actual title we're going to get from the website. So it will be driver dot get title and here I'll put one method that if my expect or actual title equals equals what my expected title then then here you can say uh, system dot out dot print ln print pass else if it does not match it then you can simply print fail right now i'll just uh, okay i've just formatted it with the shortcut shift control f okay so this was my next step right after that it is saying navigate to Facebook page and then navigate back and certain navigate methods it is asking us to do. So how we can do that? For that, let me write the method. So I'll say navigate commands. Right, so navigate commands. So uh, how can you navigate different commands? So it will be navigate to the Facebook page, navigate back to the QA Tech Hub website. So I'll say here driver dot, there is a method called navigate to. What does this navigate method do? This navigate method takes you to that particular URL. So now you will ask a question, what is the difference between dot get and not navigate to? So just to answer this question, there is no difference internally both of them calls exactly the same code there is no difference at all there are these are just two different method to call the same uh, to do to perform the same operation right so here i'll say facebook or www.facebook.com right so this method is also done after that, it is saying, take me back to the QA Tech Hub website. So this back, either we can again call a navigate method or there is a method, see here, on this browser, there are three buttons. This takes you back to the browsing history. This takes you forward to the browsing history and this reloads the page, right? So uh, these operations can be performed through Selenium also by calling the method navigate back this takes us back to the browsing history then driver dot navigate dot forward this takes you forward to the browsing history then driver dot navigate dot refresh this reloads the page right 
and this is what it is asking me to do so it is asking me to navigate back to the qa tech hub website okay so i am uh, back after that it is asking me to print the url of the current page that are not done so let me do that so here i'll create another variable called string uh, url from web page okay and what how will you get this value so i can get this value by driver dot get current url right and i can then print this url so i'll say system dot out dot print ln and i'll pass this value okay after that it is asking me to move forward reload the page and then close the browser so move forward reload is refresh and then to close the browser i'll write one more method public void close browser so here we can say driver dot close right so these are some of the methods which are mapped with each of the steps let's execute them so to execute we need a main method as you all know to execute any any java code you uh, the loading starts with the main method right so here also i'll create one public void i mean i i need a main method so basically there is a shortcut to print that just type main press control space bar and then first of all i'll create an object of this class first assignment um f a equal to new first assignment and then i'll say f a dot invoke browser then after that i'm calling a verified page title then i'm calling navigate commands and then i'll say close browser so here i've changed this uh, dot close dot dot quit right click run as java application so the difference between close and quit is uh, close closes the single window that is the current active window whereas quit closes all the windows so here you can see first it is navigated to qatechhub.com then it is navigating to facebook after that it is going back then going forward then reloads the page and after that it will close the browser so it's working fine okay so that's all in this assignment thank you so much for joining see you in the next session till then bye bye